best way to get a professional job is to look and feel professional. Harrison College has teamed up with Macy's for an afternoon of fun learning and advice on how to feel and look professional when going to that job interview or job fair. Enjoy this information and pass it on. It may help you open the door in getting the career you have always wanted. Welcome everybody. Today what we're going to do is talk about professionalism and professional dress for interviewing. So today we're at Macy's and I would like to introduce you to Ann who is the store manager here at Macy's and then also to Ed Sandman who's going to help us also. Ann, the floor is yours. Okay. Um, we're going to go over interview suits first and the basics of an interview and what you would need to wear and how you can accessorize that to the appropriately appropriate taste level, not over accessorizing. Um, we're going to talk about as much as what types of bags you should carry, what materials you should have with you um, when you go to that interview as well. And then we're going to take it one step further. Uh, both Sam and I are going to talk about how you can extend your wardrobe with those pieces that you purchased for your interview to use those um, once you've received a job or gotten that particular job, how you can carry that same professional look into each and every day of your business uh, work day as well. So a really exciting time for each of you. Hopefully you get a lot out of this. Oh, um, we've got an exercise for you. Um, there's a lot of value out there. We're going to share to you the actual value and how you can take a basic um, piece of wardrobe, and Sam is going to share that as well, how you take that and extend that wardrobe. You can wear that same suit jacket even three times, three times in one week and make it look like a whole new outfit each and every day. So we're going to tell you about the value. We know it, the economy is extremely tight. I'm sure with you all attending school, money is a big object to you and how you get the most out of your wallet. So we're going to show you how to do that as well um, so that it makes most sense to you and you have the most value in your closet um, as well. Okay. Today what I'm going to try to do is to introduce you to that fact. So start out with, my suggestion would be that you buy a black suit. Also, I would suggest that you buy a black shoe that does not have a necessarily a lot of foam and this type of thing. And you want to dress it up So that is probably as formal as you're going to need to get. If you can only have one tie, make sure it's red. Because red indicates to whoever's looking at it, excitement. So this would be my very first purchase. A black suit, a white shirt, and a red tie. So, that would be my suggestion, always have a red tie. The next step would be, now the coat can do many, many things for you. <coughs> it can be a sport coat or less formal coat. You could put with it, if you have a need to be in a little less formal, but still rather dressy. You can do a gray slack under it. I'm going to keep using this particular black coat because that black coat just takes you to another outfit. You buy another pair of slacks in tan and you end up with Changing the color a bit. Let's say that we like yellow, which is another exciting color. Works very well. Excellent. With a nice slack. And now you have another outfit. We can do the same thing over and over again. We can, since we have the black sport coat, we can do some prints as far as the slacks are concerned. Now black on black is great if you're going to the disco. <laughs> <laughs> and not any of this. It's great 
They even got ties to match. <laughs> but it's not for an interview. Now, you may walk in and you say, Ed Sandman told me not to wear one of these. And the guy sitting on the other side <laughs> is wearing <laughs> But you also may go in and he's wearing a white shirt. If you are going to a heat. And she may like the color. It's a passion color. But you're not going there for passion. You're going there to get a job. You're going there get a job. But my recommendation is for that one interview day, really take the time. Um, you know, obviously when you get a brand new shirt, they're a little easier to iron because you're going to have the creases in here, which you're familiar with, and some of the back areas. But those are all, again, about the appearance, okay? Um, so we're going to start on the ladies. I want to give you a couple tidbits, just a couple of uh, things to make sure of. Um, ladies, it's very simple for you um, in many cases. Um, it is going to be a little expense, just as it is for the men, and you saw what's here today. Uh, but the original first expense, you'll find that you're going to be able to do a lot with that suit and using that suit down the road for any, any number of different occasions, just as Ed said with the gentleman's clothes as well. A couple things to remember when you go to the interview, and a broad cross the board, um, just making sure that you're laying out your clothes in advance. If this is your everyday handbag, would you take this to an interview? Absolutely not. Okay, you really don't want to take a handbag to an interview. A couple other things to remind you of um, is just uh, just grooming hair. You want to make sure that you've got your hair in place. Simple things um, that you are well groomed that particular day. Be careful, um, especially women, that you're not wearing too much makeup. Um, a soft amount of makeup, soft lipstick to go along with that, and we'll talk a little bit about accessorizing and how you don't want to over-accessorize as well. These are extremely important things. Similar to what you said is with the gentleman, you want to start out with those basic colors um, and very professionalism, and very traditional things, okay? Um, this is a must. So no matter what, when you're going for an interview and you're going to tempt it, it's 80 degrees out, gee, I don't want to put those hose on, you want to make sure you have a pair of hose on for your interview, okay? You always want to have two or three of these in your drawer, because this is a must, ladies. You want to make sure you have those on. Obviously, if you're wearing pants, that's different, um, and you know, you'll know what to do there. You can, depending on the shoe you wear, that will be a variance on that. Okay, a couple of things we're going to talk about would be shoes next. Okay, would you wear these to an interview? Absolutely not. <laughs> Did you say, oh dear? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh dear is right. Um, just because these are your closet, in your closet possibly, and you have them, this would be definitely an oh no. Okay. Um, this is one option that you could wear. Again, it's got the peep toe is what we call this with a sling back. Um, and you can see the height of that heel is much lower, much more professional. My favorite, and I actually have five pairs of these that I keep behind my desk for different days when my feet hurt. Um, this is the shoe, the shoe of choice um, for whether you're wearing a pant or a dress. It's a basic pump. This happens to be a very reasonable price bandolino pump that you will wear nonstop. So what colors do you think he would wear on an interview? Anyone? Someone's black. Black. And white. Okay. And in a suit you would choose either black, navy, or gray. Um, preferably black and navy, gray being the third of the color choices. Um, you can accessorize, but it's light accessories. Um, when I say that, it would be a very light necklace, nothing as bold as what I have on. This is not anything you would ever wear to an interview. Okay. The nice thing, ladies, about a suit, and I will tell you for the most part, although my jacket's not buttoned, and nor would it be um, today, this is where you want to button your jacket on these things, okay? So for the most part, you would have your jacket or be able to button your jacket. You might not necessarily, you may unbutton it when you sit down for your interview for comfort, um, and we'll go over that slightly too. This one happens to be right off the selling floor. I've not mixed anything with this. This is a basic navy. Women, we can wear pants or skirts for interview, but please be very careful. You know the idea of the skirt length. It should be when you basically hold your hand down, and I know you can't see it in the back, but you do not want, you want it to go at least to the knee. So wherever your finger lies on your hand, your arm, the skirt should be no shorter than that ever. So you want to make sure comfortable. I would say definitely at the knee for that skirt length as well. Okay. So we've chosen blues and grays, pretty basic. 
Um, and when you're layering pieces into this, and our sales associates are amazing. We have a lot of customers that come in here specifically for interviews and we spend quality time with them. We have some wonderful suits out on the selling floor that sell for $99.99. This one happens to have a shell already attached. We just caution you on some of this though, and it depends once you get it on. You will find ladies that a lot of the clothing out there right now tends to drop a little lower than it should. The, um, many of the shirts are v-necked. You could go out to the floor right now and you'll see a lot of that. Please be very careful on where this drops um, to your bust line. Okay? You don't want to be revealing anything to anyone. It makes the interview, the actual person interviewing you feel very uncomfortable. Um, so please make sure when you're choosing something like this that you're very careful on where that falls. Okay? It's definitely, as Ed talked about earlier, how you can add to a suit. Um, this happens to be the same Casper suit that I just showed you. Um, but with the added pink top underneath, soft colors for these interviews. So under here, you want to make sure, as said earlier in the men's portion, pink's okay, white, and then blue happens to be another color that is very popular. And again, this would work well for an interview. No need to add any detail to that. Very professional on that outfit as well. This is a wonderful look, a black Casper skirt suit here. Again, when you're looking at your skirts, be careful they don't have too much design or too much interest on the bottom. As simple as possible, straight cut as possible. And then, believe it or not, if you don't have a pair of pearls or imitation pearls, I would suggest, quite frankly, in your wardrobe, they really add a lot to your wardrobe as far as even just with a basic black cardigan. This is a really great look. I wear pearls a lot just to very traditional. Um, what do you think? Yes or no? <laughs> too busy. A big difference. A couple things that you need to have in your wardrobe, or should have in your wardrobe, I would suggest, um, for even after you've had the job, is a basic player, pair of black pants. How many people, I'm sure, have basic black pants, right? A basic uh, straight black skirt, um, and you can find those. A um, couple of our areas offer them, and what we call an everyday value, Raffaella, BCX, some juniors. Um, and then a basic a black cardigan really serves a huge purpose. Once you've done the interview, a couple things to be aware of. Many of you are going to need to be prepared to go for second and third interviews. Okay, so that's why this basic black suit is going to help you because as we showed you earlier, you can take that same suit and partner it up with a different top and wear it to the interview that may be a day or two after that. Um, some places you go may have you fly in and you may be at four of doing three interviews in one day. So always be prepared for that and how you're going to add to that wardrobe as well. Just a couple key pieces to make sure you have in your wardrobe are, as I share it, basic black pant, basic black skirt. Okay? It'll do you, it'll, it'll really serve you well as far as the miles you get out of your wardrobe. After the presentation, the soon-to-be graduates were allowed to utilize the entire Macy's store to seek out professional clothing that they thought would meet the expectations and then presented to the professionals. Charissa, Charissa. 
to be very careful to intermix to make sure you're getting back down to the basics and choosing colors that really apply to the more traditional professional look. So um, this was a challenge, I think, when we got into juniors because we found a lot of wow um, colors, bright colors in the assortment. So we did have to go to Missy's to grab a, a basic shell uh, for this. So I think you guys did an outstanding job. Very simple. Probably difficult for you to wear something so basic in your closet. Um, but this is a great example of just pulling the basics together. Any questions or comments about this portrait piece that we pulled together? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Nice. We have one more come on. So this group actually did two outfits. Thank you. I'm Jody, by the way. Hi, Jody Ann. <laughs> nice to meet you, and thanks for today. So what do we think? Anyone want to comment nice. on Jody's outfit? Very basic black, but very nice. Mm -hmm. Nice yes. accent on the necklace there. Mm -hmm. And the white, just very professional looking. It is, very professional. Plus we, Bonnie did her hair too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. experience for everyone and gave you a chance to see how to wear the career clothes and be prepared for an interview. I think preparedness is the biggest key. Um, as you said earlier, um, the job market is a little bit more difficult. You want to make sure that you are um, going out there with the best of yourselves and presenting yourself that way. Self-confidence is huge, um, making sure that you're prepared in advance for that. And I think that you said it best. When you feel good about the way you present yourself, the interview will go much smoother. Um, you want to make sure you put together from top to bottom. It's so important. And like I said, if you ever shop at Macy's, we have more than helpful associates that can help guide you in the right direction for that particular interview. It's a very special day in your life. And we're going to be here All right. Well, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. Hopefully, it took a learning experience. Okay? Now that you have seen what professionalism looks like and how to achieve it, this will help take away the fear that can hold you down.